Here's a nice simple column chart showing expenses from 2018 all the way up to 2021. What if we wanted to add a stat line showing, say, the average of all these amounts? The typical native Excel way of doing this would be to go up into Insert and then grabbing a shape, so literally a line, and then just overlaying it on top of the chart and then adding a text box and typing in what your average is. You can imagine that this is not ideal, not very dynamic, and is just really tough to maintain and error prone. Macabicus can assist here though. We can just select our chart. In the charts dropdown then, go to stat line, and we see options for a stat line for an average, a median, or just an arbitrary value. This is really handy for benchmarks or targets. Let's just go with the average, and Macabicus will bring up this handy dialog, and it does remember our last used settings, so one can just set it and forget it. We're using our CFI orange here so that the line sticks out with a little bit of a heavy weighting. Weighting is just the thickness of the line, and we're using a dotted line. Then we have options for the data label. We can set the content of the data label. We're including both the label and the value. In other words, it will include the word average, a colon, and then the calculated average in dollar terms. We can set our label to match the line color so that it sticks out as well, and we can have the font as bold. It's up to you how you would like it to look. And with just that one click, Macabicus has gone ahead and inserted a stat line here for the average of $77. And we can see it's a little bit redundant to these grid lines on the chart, so we can just select those with a left click and you'll see these dots here indicating the grid lines are selected, and just press delete, and that's looking super clean now. And some cells were inserted below our original data, down below, so we can see that we have a row for line X. Don't worry about this, this is really just driving the horizontal nature of the line. Then we have this average calculation, which is actually calculating the average of our data, so that's our $77. And then we also have this label, which is just joining up the words average with $77 formatted in dollar terms with no decimals. One can make any tweaks they want to that label cell and it will be updated here on the chart. We're just gonna quickly reformat and we just used the Macabicus formatting features, border cycles, auto fit, column width, and let's also apply an auto color to these cells just so that they're colored in accordance with our financial modeling best practices black indicating calculation cells. So that's looking really good down below. And our chart also looks great with our line indicating the average. Just to demonstrate how we can change this data label, say we wanted that label to say mean instead of average, just an alternative way of stating the word average. We can see the label is now updated to say mean of $77. We could also change this to say mean but it won't affect anything here in column B. And then also if our data changes, say if the 2018 year came in at $40 instead, we can see that our line is now updated to $72 as well as the data label. So the line is fully dynamic and automated. Thanks so much for watching. We find this functionality really useful when charting. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.